All right, everybody. It's October, and you know what that means. Creeptober time is here. We are going to play Sweet Home for the Nintendo Famicom, the precursor to Resident Evil as a series. Created uh, way back by Shinji Mikami, who went on to do things like Goof Troop. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to name all these people. Uh, Kazuo is the leader, and since we can have six names, we're going to call him me, because I am the hero, narcissistic buttwad, so yeah, there we go. We have Akiko, who is essentially our kind of healer, doctor type person. Not really, there's not really a healer in the game, we're just going to call her Sinnoh. We have Taro, who likes to take a lot of pictures. He's the only other male character in the game. We're going to call him Triple. We have Asuka, who looks, that looks like a stick. She's actually carrying a vacuum cleaner. Uh, what do we call her? Call her... Um, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Starting off wonderfully, not having actual freaking names for these people. Uh, we'll call her Pixel. And then we have Emmy, who is... Uh, a sort of like a thief kind of character. She carries a uh, key, which I assume is only really a lockpick. I'm going to call her Evie. Yep. Yeah, so we're looking for a fresco, which is a painting. Why exactly? No one really knows, but it's within this manor. There's our little dots running up. Prep the camera! Special. I assume he was going to say technique, but... No! Oh, shit. Uh, not only that, but the frickin'... <laughs> the, the... It collapsed. Or, okay. Okay, so here we are. We have the, well... Better search the mage. Okay, so this is gonna get you acquainted with the... We have our own tools, okay. So we have the thing here, we have party, which shows you, you know, you can switch to whichever character you want. Obviously it's not letting me select myself because I'm on me already. We have item, which shows you what you're carrying. Each character can hold two items, a weapon, and their specific tool. Talk is essentially just talk. Team is you can team up with people. Like, we're gonna go around and we're gonna team up with people. Yeah, and your friends never tell you no to teaming up, so... You grab Pixel. Can you grab everybody? Oh, I guess you can only have three and two. So, who do I need? We're gonna uh, switch to... Triple. And we can grab... Evie. Alright, so we need... We need uh, the party who has... This is, uh, 
actually, we, if you look at it, you can see this is sharp broken glass. We need to get around that. Well, it just so happens that Pixel carries a vacuum. Let's stick together. Yeah, the left door is open. That one needs a key. Can't really get across there, but there is this note on the ground here. Kashi, the next fresh note is across on the left. Be careful. Okay, so we're not the only people who've been trapped here. What we need to do is we need to go over to triple. Because really we need these two for this room. Triple take the fruit knife. Photograph my fresco, for therein lies a clue to the way out. Oh, huh. Wait, this is. <coughs> That's a candle. can take the tonic. That's your only real way to heal in this game. Okay, so we have to do that. So we need to look at the painting. Then you can look at it. Yeah, how to reserve it. Well, we need triples camera. My three frescoes will solve a puzzle. Okay. Self there because I want actually no wait I have a lighter I don't it's been seven minutes I'm already fucking up but yeah we need to trouble to grab the candle there's nothing else in there it looks like sausages and stuff and you can do all that but. Here we have item use Edie's key. Okay, so now we have actually you can actually uh run into encounters now. Kenji, the frescoes contain clues, okay. I think we group by date. You want to avoid those blue lights, absolutely. Oh, wait. I think we... Yeah, I think this is where we need to... Frickin'... Yeah, for some reason your party members can't walk past each other. Oh, is this an encounter? It's an encounter with a wisp! Okay, the first thing you want to do is call. And then we get to call them, and if they make it close enough, they all join the fight. And now everybody's going to get experience for this. Wow, even, like, tri even Triple who has the knife only did one damage. There, two experience. Then we need to use my lighter. Nope. You don't want them to get touched by that, because if they do, then they get spirited away, and then you have to go find them. Power of the heart overcomes evil. Huh. Wood. Well, we'll just, uh, get more of those to Senna. And the thing is, stuff can happen to your other party members while you're not focused on them. 
Which kind of sucks, because... Still kind of mad that, like, Triple can't actually... There, yeah, two experience. Also, I want... this? It's silver knife there. And what is this? More wood. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave that there for right now. Now we're in the dark. Okay, so I want to get out of the way. Oh, didn't realize there was rocks there. Because he has the candle. Nope. One fell down, we'll pull to save me. Yeah, so basically, uh, that shows that if... Oh, another wisp! That shows what happens if someone falls in a hole. You can... Can I... Grab that there. Enjoy the battle here. Now, the thing about that is that, like, there is no indication at all, like, about levels and anything of the sort. It's like, you, you don't know how much experience you need, there's no real status screen. Like, you just see Chasm phone, we had a bridge, well, we actually... and you can see that there's a bridge there. Feels dangerous. You want to give this to Pixel. Basically, that, and you pull her out of the, uh... Oh, wow. Oh, frickin'... Wait, Pixel, I believe, has a thing of wood by herself. Well. I think that's going to do it for here. It's a decent enough stopping point. We're relatively safe right here. But yeah, this is basically Sweet Home. This was the precursor to Resident Evil. Uh, in fact, Resident Evil 1, the reason why it takes place in a mansion is because it was supposed to be a remake of this game. So yeah, next time we'll continue on our journey through the mansion and try to find these other frescoes so we can get the hell out of here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're having a safe and wonderful Halloween season and a good Creeptober, and I will see you guys next time.